Hi guys, my name's Rachel. I wanted to speak with you today about um, some, so the past 10 years pretty much. So I had in, for about 10 years, I was really, really negative. Um, I had really bad anxiety. I had some time where I was really depressed as well um, and had trouble going out doing things. Just nothing seemed to work out for me, pretty much. <laughs> and I was wondering why. And so earlier this year, I went through some stuff. I was very emotional. Um, and I had been told, I guess, in the last past 10 years or so, on a number of occasions, that I'm overly, overly sensitive. Um, which I've realised I'm an empath <laughs> and pretty much my emotions were quite messed up because I didn't understand them properly So and I hadn't dealt with them, hadn't healed. So basically, um, the earlier this year, I recognised this and it was because of someone mirroring back to me what I was doing. Um, and it wasn't the greatest of situations, but, you know, like, I I could have been really angry at this person, but I wasn't. And it was because I had, I looked at, okay, what is the common denominator here? And it was me. So I kind of went, okay, well, why do I keep going in this same, down the same road? Why do I keep following the same path? And then I, I basically saw it as myself and therefore, okay, what can I do about myself? Because I can't control anyone, what anyone else does. So I looked, basically I looked deep within, started looking out a lot of stuff to do with psychology, um, a lot of, um, a lot of blog posts, a lot of health information, um, stuff like that. And I... I started healing what's inside. So one of the things that I did was I, I had to reshape my thinking because my anxiety, it was busy thoughts inside my head, just going around and around and around. And I could not, um, I could hardly deal with it because it was so much. <laughs> um, I had trouble getting to sleep at night a lot of the time because there's so much going on in there. And I still have a bit of difficulty think sleeping, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's different now. It's, you know, <laughs> I'm just a bit of a night owl, which isn't helpful, but yeah, it's not, not usually to do with thoughts going around in my head anymore. It's my own fault. <laughs> Basically, if you let the thoughts go around and around in your head, it becomes something larger than it was before. So it kind of grows, if that makes sense. So that's why my thoughts were pretty much so busy is <laughs> because all of these things over the space of 40 years had just built up to such a point that, like it was kind of like this monster inside of my head. <laughs> if, you want to, if, if that's a good analogy, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. So what I figured out was, okay, each time I get a thought, I could push it aside. But look at it first. Not just push it aside, but look at it and then push it aside. Look at it, push it aside. Look at it, push it aside. And then look at, okay, what's the common themes that are going on there? And using that information, that's really, really good information. Using that information, I could then start to look at what's going on inside of me and heal those different things. So yeah, then I started doing a deep dive and looking inside and um, and healing things one at a time. And basically I had to look up information on this and that, and you know, how to heal those different things. And I've come such a long way in the last six months or so. It's just crazy. <laughs> so anyway, um, so basically 
I cleared my mind. Um, I started looking at positive affirmations. Um, so I, I started like when I was washing my hands or doing something, you know, like doing something or whatever, I would just say to myself, I love you, Rachel, or you're beautiful or like something that built me up. Um, and the more that I said those things, the more that I believed them because I had this very negative, um, I thought very negative about myself. <laughs> um, I think I had an inner hate for myself and it was to do with, um, it was to do with this monster in my head basically. <laughs> I had created so many negative thoughts in my head and it was just basically um, putting me down all the time. This monster in my head was um, the monster that I'd created. So I not only was pushing those thoughts aside, but I was giving myself positive affirmations to reverse all that, which is definitely what was needed. I've pretty much blocked myself from having abundance <laughs> because I believed that I wasn't worthy of having abundance, having money. Um, so whenever I've had a bit of money, it's ended up like something's come up that's meant that it's gone back out of the bank. So for example, um, earlier this year, um, we had a bit of money coming in, come in and then the windscreen um, on the car needed to be replaced and what else has happened? Um, like, you know, just different things have happened that have meant that the money that has come in has gone out again. So I've realised, I've recognised that something inside of me that, I've, that I do. <laughs> and so I'm trying to release the blocks to do with that. But also I've, in the process, I've realised that I very much, I wasn't really looking at things in an abundant way. I was looking at things in general in my life in more of a lack way that, you know, <laughs> Um, so like now I go to the food shops and I, if I, you know, I'll buy bread and milk and, you know, a few other things or whatever, and I'll get to the checkout and I'll, I'll thank God, the universe, you know, like for providing me the money to be able to pay for this. Now that's very, very like, basically I would often go and spend the money and kind of feel like stressed because more money is going out of my bank. But now I can have not much money in there, but I'll be like, thank you for being able to pay for this. And same, same with bills. Um, I'll be paying for a bill and I'll be like, thank you for giving me the money to pay for this. <laughs> so it's an appreciation rather than, and I'm finding that I've got enough money to cover everything now. Maybe I don't have an abundance, but I have enough money that I'm covering everything and don't have to worry about anything now, if that makes sense. So, and I'm not stressed over it, whereas I was stressed over it before. <laughs> so now I'm kind of able to let it go and give it to the universe and, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, so, and I mean, that's a hard thing for me to talk about. <laughs> um, so abundance is a big thing, I think. And being able to just be in that space where you're like, okay, thank you for this and this and this and this and this. When you can be happy in what you've got, that you've got a roof over your head, that you've got food in the fridge, that you've got a bed, a comfortable bed to sleep on, um, that you've got a beautiful family, like just being happy with the different things that you do have means that you're, you're in a, you feel abundant and therefore you feel happier. You feel happy. <laughs> um, and that's what I've realized is that I was very down and depressed because I was thinking of all the things that I didn't have as opposed to thinking of all the things that I did have. 
Um, I've got an amazing partner and he's happy with me getting tattoos if I want to or um, he's encouraging me to get my motorbike license which is something I've always wanted to do and he'll go to metal concerts with me or rock concerts or whatever and things that I want to do so like I you know I'm very lucky really um, and I think you know just being realizing recognizing those things in your life and kind of going okay this 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 is amazing like you know this bit of my life is amazing but then it's interesting because in my recognizing those things I also started recognizing things that weren't working for me so we actually moved on from the house that we were in because of that reason and we've moved on to a better place um, yeah I basically did a mass house house clearing <laughs> not in that you know you know what I mean like I cleared out the things that were no longer serving me I said no to a lot of people over a short space of time and it's because I basically started to to understand my worth whereas I hadn't before because I'd been clearing out things healing things looking at my life more abundantly um, it just, the things that didn't serve me became very, very clear to me. So I was able to, um, to clear those out of my life and move on to better things. And I think that if you're in a lack mentality, if you're in a, um, if you're, really not enjoying life and that's what's cycling around in your head um yeah you're going to just put up with whatever it is whereas yeah if you are living in a more happy and abundant it's kind of like well no i'm not doing that i'm doing this i'll go over here instead actually thanks because that's going to make me happier so positive attracts more positive um it basically clears the way for you. Whereas if you're um, if you're in a, ne a negative and a lacking mindset, then you're going to attract more lack, more negativity. So it kind of it morphs into something more. Again, the monster thing. <laughs> so the monster inside of my head, um, the monster that you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> anyway, um, trying to think if I've got anything more for now. Um, I think one really, really important thing that's come out of everything that I've learned um, is that love is truly important. It should be this, at the center of everything. Um, so when things happen now, I don't see it as being a... I don't, I don't see those people as doing anything against me. I see it more as the, they've just done something, you know, like that, that doesn't fit in with, uh, it's not in alignment with my, like what I would do. It's not in alignment with my values. So, so, but it, it doesn't matter. That's just something they've done um and that's their choice so i kind of i can separate myself from it rather than seeing it as being an attack if that makes sense um and in doing so i can i don't i don't hate anyone i don't like i don't really have any negative emotions towards anyone it's more a okay you've done that I might think I might move over here now. But, like, because I see it as if you stick with someone that's, you know, like, and you're, and you're doing it too, because if you stick around them, then you're required to do this too. Then you're enabling them. Um, so I kind of see it as, okay, well, I'll just go over here now. But that's me going, okay, I'm not going to enable this. Um, but I don't hold a grudge against that person either. I'm kind of like, hmm, oh, well, that happened. <laughs> so I've, I've learned to let go and not care 
Um, but care at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, is more a, I love you enough that I'm just going to walk away from this. I'll just move over here. <laughs> um, people don't usually like that, but that's, to me, that's still love. Um, it's just in a different way to what people are used to. Whereas if you stay in that situation and you fuel the fire um, and it, become, it morphs into something worse, then to me, that's not love. Um, and it's something that I thought was love previously, but I've kind of recognized it as not being love really because you're just going, you're cycling through these negative emotions that aren't helpful to anyone and you're enabling. So it's um, just pulling yourself back from that and kind of going, okay, well, I don't need to be attached to this. Um, and I'll walk away out of love um, is, <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing thing. <laughs> so, and I, yeah, like I said, I don't hold a grudge against anyone now. And that is awesome because, yeah, I don't then hold on to the negativeness of it. Um, the other thing that's kind of happened is that I can, because I'm an, I've realized that I'm an empath. I, and so I attract energy, positive or negative to me. Um, and I can, because I've cleared all that negative crap out, I can really, really now feel when there is something, um, when there's a lower vibration or energy inside of me when, I'm attra when I've attracted it into me, and I can then clear that out straight away. Um, a good way that I've found to clear that out is to... Um, basically just let it um, just go down through me, through my legs, down into the ground. And I basically just ask, because it, um, negative energy, um, I read at some point can't survive um, and in the dirt. Like it basically gets just, yeah, <laughs> it just disappears. So I try to send it into the ground. Um, but yeah, also putting protection around me and stuff like that. Um, so I have learned ways so that I, so that it doesn't make it to me in the first place. Um, but yeah, also to get rid of it if I need to. So, um, and like with releasing the negative energy, you can actually draw in positive energy as well. So um, there's different ways to do it. Look it up. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pull a few cards now. Um, oops. Ooh, I didn't even shuffle that properly. <laughs> but it says your hard work is paying off. <laughs> I'm going to put that back in. and Oops. about this one. Oh, that's interesting. That's the communication is key card. Which is interesting because I got it in the pre-shuffle. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if that means anything to you. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. And this was new moon in Gemini. Surrender to the divine. Full moon beautiful card and hold your vision fixed moon so I think those three kind of go together oh they all go together I'm sure you they all <laughs> This, um, on this one, the scales kind of speak to me. So, a new romantic cycle begins, but there's scales there. <laughs> so, I find that interesting, um, and the fact that communication is key. So, yeah. 
<laughs> so I'll take some, these are star seed cards, and I might, before I shut them, hopefully. since I've taken four of the other. Okay. Okay, so we've got ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. Consciousness. I cannot speak. You are ready for this. <laughs> That's an amazing card. That goes with Honestly, that goes with all of these for <laughs> a story. It's a bit like, it's about my life, really. <laughs> um, but hopefully it will speak to you as well. So, freedom, follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. I like that card. Freedom is... So I'm finding that freedom very much... So you got the freedom and ascension card. Those two very much relate. Because I don't think we have much freedom until we've actually spiritually ascended and evolved and stuff. We don't understand what freedom is. Until we're actually, it's interesting, until we're actually following our intuition, we don't really understand what freedom is. <laughs> because you can't be happy if you're doing something that you don't really love. So, yeah, and intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. That's something that I was just talking about. <laughs> channel, you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. And getting this sounds like me. <laughs> yes. But yeah, hopefully it speaks to you as well. So I just thought I might pull a few cards at the end out of interest. So, you know, I thought you guys might appreciate that. Okay. And thank you for watching. If you, if you enjoy my video, please like and subscribe. Bye.